Hi guys, welcome back to The Cooking Cupboard. I'm Graham from Pathways, and today we are going to be cooking pizza. So, in front of me, I've got all the ingredients that you need to make a pizza. So in the bowl, I've got the dough that I taught you how to make last week, and a rolling pin and a board so that we can roll our pizza base out. Tomato sauce, I've got some mozzarella cheese, and there's some cheddar cheese here. There's mozzarella, cheddar, found in the back of the fridge. I've got an onion, three types of peppers, green, red, and yellow. I've got some ham. I've got some pineapple. I've got hot dogs. I've got beans and sausages. I've even got pepperoni. I've got corn and tuna. Bacon, mushrooms, and of course, tomato sauce. But the first thing you need to do before you start cooking, wash your hands. 20 seconds minimum. Give them a good wash, soap and water, give them a good dry, and then we can start cooking. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our dough. Now, I've made a big ball of dough and split it up into two, because I'm making two pizzas, one for me and one for Ollie the cameraman. So, what I'm gonna do first is, on my surface, I'm gonna put a little sprinkling of flour, just rub it around, and I'm gonna get my first ball of dough, make a little circle, get my rolling pin, put a bit of flour on my rolling pin, and start rolling that out. And remember to keep it in a circle, give it a roll, and then a quarter turn. If it starts sticking, flip it over. Just keep quarter turn. Doesn't matter if it's not perfectly round, no pizzas ever are. And you want this nice and thin. Mine's more of a square than a circle, but that's all right, because my pan is square. I haven't got a proper pizza pan. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to get my pan and put my pizza in. Stretch it out as big as it will go. There we are guys. Nice pizza base in the pan. So the first layer on our pizza is going to be tomato sauce. Now you can buy tomato sauce from the supermarket. If you haven't got any, just get a tin of tomatoes, put them in a sieve, and rub it with a wooden spoon into a bowl, and that makes a nice tomato sauce. So I'm gonna put one spoonful on. I think I'm gonna put another spoonful on. And spread it right out to the edges. You don't want too much tomato sauce because it makes your dough go all soggy and your base doesn't cook proper, properly. And then I'm going to put some cheese on. Now my cheese is already grated so I'm going to get it out of the bag. And what I do, I just put a little bit of cheese on to start with because you can always add more later. So just a little thin covering of cheese. And I think, being as Ollie the cameraman's working hard, we'll let him decide what goes on this pizza. Ollie the cameraman, what would you like? Pepperoni. How did I guess? So, there's one bit, two bits. Is that enough, Ollie the cameraman? No, he's, he's no, he wants more. 
So here we are. One pepperoni pizza. I know a lot of you guys like pepperoni pizza. Yeah, a bit more cheese. So I'm not gonna try not to get the cheese too much on the pepperoni, because it's gonna melt over it. And you actually want the pepperoni to go a bit crispy. But when you're cooking your pizza, you can have whatever you like. Me, I'm gonna get a curly whirly pizza going later. Right, there we are. That's Ollie the cameraman's pizza. Now, I'm gonna make mine. Nice ball, make that into a circle. You, can, you don't even have to use a rolling pin for this. You can pull it out carefully with your hands. I don't know if you've ever seen them in the restaurants doing it with their hands. I can't do it. They flip it over the backs of their hands, don't they? There we are, quarter turn, roll again, quarter turn, roll again. Remember when it cooks, it puffs up a bit. So, the thing I forgot to tell you is before you start, you put your oven on at 220 degrees. So my oven's on and heating up. It's gonna get nice and hot for when we put this giant pizza in the oven. There we go, that's good enough for me. So there's my base. It's in the pan. Here comes the tomato sauce. Remember you can make this yourself, a tin of tomatoes. You can actually um, cook it with some onions if you want, maybe add some spice in there, some chilies or garlic, whatever you want. Remember, it's your pizza, do it your way. So there's my tomato sauce. Oh, I've got to get some scissors now to open. Oh no, it's all right, I've done it. a brand new pack of cheese so there we are I'm gonna have a lot of cheese because guess what I am gonna have on my pizza I'm not gonna top it up with more cheese after I'm gonna put all the cheese on now lots of it sausage and beans for me I don't think this is gonna be Ollie the cameraman's favorite pizza by a lot. I've never had sausage and bean pizza before. Probably never will again. Right, the oven is ready. Remember, you preset it to 220 degrees Celsius. And you may need some help so that you don't burn yourself putting it in the oven and getting it out. So don't be afraid to ask for some help. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this in the oven and I'll see you soon. So this uh, pizza is Ollie the cameraman's pepperoni and it, it's actually been in at 225 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And it might have been better if it only had nine minutes. They cook quite quickly, so check after 10 minutes. There we go. There we go, Ollie the cameraman. A minute later, we've got the sausage and bean pizza for me. I'm gonna serve it up and then we're gonna do the taste test. Going in guys, things I do for you. Oh man, that's good. That is really good. You've gotta try this. Yeah, so there you have it. Two ingredient dough pizza. You guys need to go and make your own now. And what I wanna see 
is pictures and videos of you and your pizzas. Let's see what we can do, eh? Thanks for watching.